All right, instruction pamphlet 175, repair track maintenance, DB60 type straight brake equipment, September 18th, 2013, New York Air Brake uh, Corporation. Continuing, Chapter 555, vent valve. If the result of the air brake test confirming that the valve portion of the defective of the steps are used to replace the vent and valve portion. Drain out the auxiliary reserve, emergency reserve, the brake cylinder, the brake pipe. Scrape, wipe, and blow off all the adjacent gasket between the pipe and the bracket valve portion. Use the air hose, blow all the loose dirt between the on the valve portion, bike bracket, truck frame, car under frame, etc. That may otherwise get in the valve portion. Break when the portion is being removed or cleaned or portion applied. Five five three. Um, remove the valve vent portion. Apply the protective port covering over the shipment for shipping. Five five four. When the valve port portion must be carefully handled to avoid entrance of the dirt and water and damage the internal parts. Five five five. When the valve portion is recommended, with the conditions are found with the portion of the pipe bracket and evidence that the car brake equipment has been submerged in water, especially additional with the clean operation and not regularly performed, it will be required in this direction. In Seven point zero. Um, chapter 7.0. Um, 556, pipe bracket filter screen must be replaced with new ones. 557, the protective non covering must be not removed from clean vent valve portion until prepared immediately mounted on the portion of the pipe, pipe bracket. Um, 558, remove the protective port covering with the clean vent valve with the portion and assemble with the gasket is in place with the fully seated immediately mount the portion slide and it slowly and carefully on the studs against the pipe bracket then tightening the mounting nuts up evenly with 550 to plus or minus 5 uh, feet and pounds of dry torque. 559, the fly, flange connection with the mounting bracket needs to be removed the ring gasket must be replaced with, and the 5 eighths of an inch grade 2 bolts torqued up to 70 plus or minus 5 foot pounds in dry torque. 5510 required orientation is shown in figure 2 and 23 the bowl facing down no obstruction near exhaust port 5511 testing all repairs should have been completed the vent valve must be tested per the rule 3 of the AAR field manual 5512 reconditioning of the vent valve refer to the New York air brake pressure repair pressure procedure the NYR 110 NYR 158 copies may be obtained within any of the field offices all right if figure um 22 is a KM22 KM2 vent valve number 8 vent valve 56 angle cock. The result of the air brake testing conforming with the angle cock is defective with the following steps are used to replace the angle cock. 561 drain out, drain the air out of the brake pipe, scrape the wipe and blow it off the dirt adjacent with the angle cock. Use the air hose, blow off all the loose dirt of the, on the angle cock, truck frame, under frame, etc. And that may otherwise get in the angle of the cock being removed with the clean of the portion applied. 563 remove the angle cock angle, apply a protective power port covering over the shipping. 5564 five, six, four, the angle cock must be carefully handled to avoid an entrance to the dirt and water and damaged internal parts when the angle cock is removed the conditions are found in the portion of the brake pipe evidence that the car brake has been submerged in water special edition cleaning operations normally performed will be required and directed in seven chapter seven the grip seal must be replaced with new one the protective porting of the covering must not be removed from the clean angle cock until prepared immediately mounted portion of the on the brake pipe the coating threads of the brake pipe with the loctite foot number five nine two the thread is sealant with the preventing light leakage remove the protective port covering from the clean angle cock immediately mount the angle with the cock of the brake pipe tightening firmly with the tight grip seal nut and the brake pipe connection with the ang end of the angle cock. 569 five, testing. After all the repairs have been completed, the angle cock must be comp tested per three per rule three of the AAR field manual. The recommending rec reconditioning angle cock refer to the New York air brake repair procedure NYR 432 copies that must be attained through any of the field offices. This shows the figure shows your standard flange grip seal angle cock. Five seven incog the uh incog figure twenty five. If the result of the air brake test confirmed the end of the, the, the cock of the defective the following steps are used to replace the end the end cock. Drain the air out of the brake pipe, scrape the white blow off off the adjacent end cock um, dirt adjacent to the end cock. Use the air hose, blow off all the loose in the dirt and end cock, the truck frame and car under frame, then may otherwise get into the vault end of the cock when it is being removed, cleaned and portion applied. Five seven three, remove the end of the cock and apply protective port covering for the shipping. Five seven four, end cock must be carefully avoided to enter the dirt and water damage internal parts. 
575 when Hancock is removed with the conditions found with a portion of the brake pipe evident for the car broke. Air equipment has been submerged in water. Special edition with the clean operation not formed from a regular leaf performed will require in the direction 79 or section 7, chapter 7. 576. The protective port covering must be removed from the cleaning of the clog, clean end of the cog until prepared immediately on the mounting portion of the flange connected with the brake pipe. Install the new gasket of the flange pipe mounted on the brake pipe. Remove the protective cover, port covering from the clean end. End of the end cock. Immediately mount the end cock to the flange and tighten five eighths of an inch grade two bolts to seventy plus or minus five foot of the dry torque. Testing all all after testing after all the repairs have been completed, the end clock must be tested per rule three of the Association American Railroad Field. Um, for re- re- reconditioning the NCOG, refer to the New York Air Brake Procedure and the MYR 438 copies may be attained through any of the field offices. Figure 528 is, shows the NCOG and NCOG drawing. 5.8. Dirt collector of the cutout cock. Figure 26 of the result of the air brake testing confirms that the dirt collector of the cutout cock is defective with the following steps are used to replace the dirt cutout co- collector cutout cock. Um, 5.8.11. Drain air out of the brake pipe through 3.5.8.2. Scrape, wipe, and blow off all adjacent dirt and uh, adjacent to the gasket between the pipe and the bracket and the dirt collector cutout cock. Use the air hose and blow all the loose dirt of the dirt collector cutout cock of the pipe bracket with the truck frame and the car under frame that may otherwise get into the dirt collector cutout cock. Brake pipe bracket when in preparing portion may be removed and cleaned with applied. 583 remove the dirt clock dirt collector cutout clock apply protective port covering for shipping the dirt collector cutout clock must be carefully handled to avoid entrance of the dirt and water and damage internal par- parts. 585 the, when the del- dirt collector of the cutout clock is removed the conditions are found with the portion of the pipe bracket evidence for the car brake and equipment has been submerged in water. Special additional cleaning operations not regularly performed will be required and devo- directed in section 7.0. 586 the gasket may, may must be replaced with the new ones. The protective coverings must be not removed from the cleaning of the dirt cut out clock until properly immediately mounted on the portion of the pipe bracket. Remove the protective port covering from the cleaning of the dirt clock cut out collector. Ensure that the new gaskets are placed and fully seated. Immediately mount the portion tight and then bolt to the pipe bracket evenly with 55 plus or minus 5 foot ounce of dry torque um, feet per pound dry, dry torque with a cast iron pipe with brackets of 40 plus or minus 5 pounds of um, a five foot pounds of the dry torque aluminum pipe bracket. Five nine. Install new ring gasket of flange connection tight in one and a half inch grade five bolts plus or five to five or plus or minus five feet and dr- pounds of dry torque. Five eight ten testing. All repairs have been completed. The dirt cut out cock must be tested per rule three of the Association of American Railroad Field Manual. Um. The reconditioning of the dirt collector cutout cock of the refer to the New York air brake um, repair procedure in NYR 235 copies may be attained by any field office. Alright, this shows a picture of the dirt collector cutout cock. Dirt collector cutout, figure 26 of the dirt collector cutout cock. 5-9 retaining valve figure 27 to 28. The refer to the air brake testing confirm that the retaining valve is defective, but the following steps are used to replace the retaining valve. 5-9-1. Drain the air out of the auxiliary reserve, the air emergency reserve, and the brake cylinder brake pipe. The scrape wipe and blow off all the dirt adjacent to the gaskets between the retaining valve pipe and the bracket and the retaining valve. You use the air hose to blow off all the dirt hose and the valve portion pipe bracket, the truck frame, and car underframe, etc. That otherwise get into the valve portion or the bracket while the portion is being removed or cleaned and portion applied. 593 remove the retaining valve with applying with the protective port or covering over the shipping retain the valve must be ca- handled, carefully handled to avoid entrance of the dirt and water damage in the internal parts when retaining the valve is removed with the conditions are found with the ports on the pipe break the evidence of the car brake equipment has been submerged in water special edition cleaning operations not regularly performed will be required in direction in section 7.0 um, five nine six of the pipe bracket and the filter screens must be replaced with new ones. Five nine seven of the protective cup port coverings must not be removed from the re- cleaning retaining valve until prepared to immediately mounted with the portion on its brake pipe. Five nine eight remove the protective port covering over the cleaning retaining valve. Ensure the gasket is in place with the fully seated immediately mounted on the portion. Tighten the bolts evenly with eighteen to twenty five twenty two foot pork dr- pounds of foot uh, pound of dry torque. Five nine if the flange connection of the mounting bracket needs to be removed, remove the frame gasket must be 
be replaced with three eighths of an inch grade five bolts and tighten to the eight eight plus or minus two foot pounds of foot foot of pounds dry torque testing all uh, after all the repairs have been completed the retaining valve must be tested per rule three of the association of american railroads for reconditioning of the retaining valve, refer to the New York Air Brake Procedure, the NYR 270 and the NYR 402. Copy the may be obtained through any field office. All right, um, figure 27 shows the composite three position retaining valve with the MY3 positioning retaining valve. All right, your KRD2A 5500AR slack adjuster, figure 29, 30, and 31. If the result of the air brake test and confirms the slack adjuster is defective, the following steps will be to re replace the slack adjuster. Drain all, out all the auxiliary, emergency, and brake cylinder air. Ensure that all tension is out of the, all, uh, the brake working before attempting to move the slack adjuster. Follow all the safety guidance for the working of the round of the railroad equipment. 5102, remove the pin attaching to the control shaft. 22, through the control lever on the brake ribbing. Figure 5103, remove the pin connecting the spindle club assist. 23, from the falcon lever on brake rigging, uh, on the brake rigging. 5104, support the loose end of the slack adjuster. Remove the pin connecting the suspension club assist. 21, from the cylinder level brake, uh, brake rigging. 5105, remove the slack adjuster unit of, from, of the car. 5106, installation. 5106.1, attach the suspension cleavage to the cylinder level on the braking rigging. Using the AAR type A pin, one seven three one and seventy seven thirty two of an inch diameter or th by three and a half inches long. Caution: If a machine um, line becomes visible, the slack adjuster spindle during the following manual adjustment. The slack adjuster spindle eighteen must be turned until the machine is in flush with is is flush with the slack adjuster spindle level one plus um, one half turn. Otherwise, slack adjuster will be overextended and may not function properly. The approximate length of the pinhole to the pinhole will be eight eighty one and three quarters of an inch plus or minus one quarter of an inch. The adjustment, um, five ten seven one. Adjustment lag of the slack adjuster is required, required during the adjuster spindle using the spindle clevis so that the hole of the spindle clevis 23 lines up with the hole in the vacuum lever and the brake rigging. 510-7-2. The proper length required for the spin is attached to the spindle level of the vacuum spindle, spindle clevis 23 of the vacuum lever of the brake rigging using the AR type A pin 1 inch and 732 of an inch diameter by 3.5 inch long pin. No control lever must conform to the requirements of AR standards of heaven. S420, S421, S422. Install the clevis of the control shaft at the 22 on the control level of the brake we're going to use in the Association of American Railroad Type B pin with one 332s of inch in diameter by two and a half inches long. Um, 5, 7, 10, 7, 4, the adjusting control rod head of the 20 with the, on the control shaft, 22 securing the lock bolts and 21. Uh, 20.1. No, if possible, minimum one eighth of an inch distance between from the control rod head with the barrel face recommended seat up. 51075. Using 50 pounds of BSI brake cylinder pressure, check with the position stroke. A minimum of two applications is required to verify the position stroke. C section 2.2. 51076, setting the proper position stroke, um, position stroke, C, um, per Association of American Railroad Field Manual Rule 3. Um, proper piston stroke forwarded for a seven five eighths of an inch cylinder is five and a half to plus or minus a quarter inch by four to eight and a half or ten inch cylinders seven and a half plus or minus fourteen quarter an inch um, for twelve inch cylinders five and a half plus or minus a quarter inch. Five seven, ten seven. Apply the release of the brakes of the, oh, using the fifty psi brake cylinder pressure. To apply the brakes again while the brake pressure brakes pipes brakes are applied. Measure the piston stroke of the brake cylinder. Release the brakes. Five ten seven eight. Adjust the piston stroke, adjusting the length of the control shaft the, to with even the control head. Shorten the control shaft to increase the piston stroke length of the control shaft to decrease the piston stroke. Adjust the necessary as multiple car level ratio. Example: A car with a two and a half, two to one level ratio will need one half adjustment with the control, control shaft to create one difference in piston stroke. One proper piston stroke achieved with the control head 20 with the control shaft 22 within three sixteenths of an inch of fillet weld minimum of the two inside with the minimum total weld of length two inches. Um, five ten eight testing. All repairs have been completed. The slack adjuster must be tested per rule three of the Association of American Railroad. Um, five ten five ten nine. Reconditioning the slack adjuster. Return to the New York Air Brake by contacting the field office. Five twenty nine shows your KRD two A five hundred AR slack adjuster. 
Um, this shows your typical center rod with the Falcrums and um, the center rod slacker adjustment installation for your brake cylinder. Um, typical rod installation, uh, rod slack adjustment installation. Five eleven, the KRD four eighty two E slack adjuster figure thirty two and thirty three and thirty four. If the result of the air brake can confirm that the slack adjuster defective filing steps are used to replace the slack adjuster, drain out the auxiliary reserve or emergency reserve, and the brake cylinder ensure that all tension for the out of the brake rigging before attempting to remove the slack adjuster file all the safety guidelines for working on around railroad equipment. Five eleven two, remove the pin attaching the control rod twenty two with the control lever on the brake rigging. Remove the pin connecting the front clevis twenty three from the thalcum lever of the brake rigging. Support the loose of the slack just remove the pin connecting for the rear clevis 21 with the cylinder level on the braking rigging. 5115, remove the slack adjuster until the car from the car. 5116, insulation. Attach the rear clevis 21 with the cylinder level brake rigging using the AR type A pin 171 inch and 732 of an inch by diameter by 3.5 inches long. Adjustment. The adjustment length of the slack adjuster is uh, as required as required by the turning of the adjuster's pendle using the front clevis is 13 with the hole of the front clevis 13 lines up with the hole in the falcon level of the brake rigging. 511C, once the proper length is required with the front clevis uh, 23 with the falcon to the falcon level of the brake rigging using the AR type A pin 173 of an inch diameter by 3.5 inch long. Note that the control lever must be conformed with required as Association of American Railroad Standards S40. Uh, as 420, 421, and 4022. 11, 5, 11, 7, 32. They install the clevis and control rod 22 with the control of the brake rigging of the Association of American Railroad type B pin 1, 3, and 3, 32s of an inch, but 2.5 inches long. Um, 511.74, adjusting the sliding of the actuation color 20 to the, on the control rod 22, securing the lock nut in the 20.1. 511.75, using the 50 pound brake pressure cylinder brake, check the piston stroke at a minimum of two applications required to vary piston stroke, section 22. 511.76, setting the piston stroke of the C, um, drawing IP 178 and IC 11180. Sorry, 178.1. Per Association of American Railroad Field Manual, the rule proper piston stroke is 7.530, 5 eighths of an inch and 5.5 and inch by plus or minus a quarter inch or 8.5 inches for a 10.5 cylinder or 10, and a half, 10 inch cylinder, 7.5 inches plus or minus a quarter inch. 12 inch cylinder is uh, 5.5 inches plus or minus a quarter inch. <coughs> <coughs> Um, 51177, apply the release of the brake pipe. brakes using a 50 PSI brake cylinder pressure. Then apply the brakes again. When the brakes are applied, measure the piston stroke with the brake cylinder. Release the brakes. 51178, adjust the piston stroke, adjusting the length of the control rod 22 with the action weight in collar 22, 20. Shorten the control rod to increase the piston stroke, lengthen the control rod to decrease the piston stroke. The adjustment necessary to multiple of the car le level ratio of the car with a 2 to 1 level ratio will need the one half adjustment of the control shaft to create one inch of the difference on the piston stroke. 11179, when proper piston stroke is achieved, the actuating collar of the 20 and the control rod 22 within 3 sixteenths of an inch fillet weld, minimum two sides, the minimum total length of two inches. Testing. Um, after all the repairs have been completed, the slack adjuster must be tested per rule 33 pull, pull per rule three of the Association of Making Railroad Field Manual. 511.9 for reconditioning slack adjuster. Return to the New York air brake um, by contact of field office. Uh, this is your KRD 4482E slack adjuster. This shows the typical con center rod installation. Um, with the AR standard 7421. 7422, AR stop a typical rod installation. Alright, 512, the EL860 MP load valve portion, figure 35. As a result of the air brake test, um, conformed with the empty load portion, the defective the fouling steps are used to replace the empty load portion. 512, 1, drain out the auxiliary rare, reserve, emergency rear, and brake cylinder. Scrape, wipe, and blow off the dirt adjacent with the gaskets between the pipe bracket and the valve portion. Use the air hose, blow off all loose dirt of the valve portion, pipe bracket, the truck frame, car underframe, etc. Those otherwise get into the valve portion or bracket with the portion is being removed, the clean portion applied. Five 
512-3, remove the empty load portion, apply protective port covering the shipping, 512-4, empty the load portion, may be carefully handled to avoid entry of the dirt, water, and damage to internal parts, 512-5, when the valve portion is removed, the conditions are found in the portion of the pipe bracket, evidence for the car brake equipment has been submerged in water, special edition, uh, cleaning operations not regularly performed will be required as direction 7.0. 512.6 pipe bra bracket gasket fills or screen must be replaced with the new ones. 512.7 the protective coverings must not be removed from the cleaning empty load portion of the prepared immediately mounting of the portion of the pipe bracket. 512.8 when the empty load of the portion gra gasket is properly placed in the portion of the fully seated immediately mounted portion, slightly slowly, carefully instead it's against the pipe bracket, tighten the mounting of nuts even the 24 pounds, 20, and a, 20 plus or minus 2 pound foot and feet of pounds of dry torque. Um, 512.9, the flange connection with the mounting bracket needs to be removed. The ring gasket needs to be replaced by 3 8 of an inch grade bolts tightened to 18 or plus or minus 2 foot or pounds. Try torque or 1 1⁄2 inch grade 5 bolts tightened to 40 plus or minus 5, um, five foot drop dry pound torque. Figure E35 shows an EL60 um, empty loaded valve portion with the indicator sensor arm and the contact ball. All right, 512.10, inspection, 512.10.1. Before um, proceeding with the adjustment of empty load equipment for the following examination should be performed, 512.10.2, to ensure the sensor arm is not damaged or bent. Move the arm down manually, conform to the appropriate location on the side frame. Check the excessive side play beyond the effective side of the frame. With the, inspect the integrity of the two sensor arm security bolts. 512.10.3, inspect the adjusting screw of the damaged excessive wear of the contacting ball with the bolt lock nuts are present. 512.10.4, inspect the sensor bolt Boot and damage, inspect the indicator less and then lens and then lens and damage. Check for five twelve ten five. Confirm the portion of the secure the twenty four plus or minus two feet of pounds of torque. Um five twelve eleven adjustment. Five twelve eleven one. In order to properly adjust the freight single car test device must be connected to the car to prefer the proof freight single car test device. Appropriate method of connection to the car refer to the Association of American Railroad Standard seven S forty six latest issue. Five twelve eleven two tools required nine and sixteen of inch, three eighths of inch open ended wrenches, five eleven five twelve eleven three for cars built after September first, two thousand four, other meets the requirements Association of American Railroad Specification S four thousand two oh three. Um, note that the car must be emptied and positioned with a straight level track in order to properly set the EL60 empty loaded valve. Note that one new car, one uh, new cars and uh, with new truck springs placing one quarter of an inch or plus and minus one sixty fourth of inch block on the top of the side frame under the load sensor contact button. Continue the following setting as an instruction. 5-12-11-3-1. With the brakes released, full loosen the lock nuts and wheelchair we'll secure the sensor arm and the adjusting screw. Screw the adjusting screw as far as it will go. 5-12-11-3-2. Pull the sensor down, arm down so as far as it will go. Hold it in position. Screw the adjusting screw until it just touches the truck side frame. Gently return the sensor arm into the release position. The screw adjusting screw out of the required complete turn for the valve in the following table in order to remove the slack in from the adjuster arm. 60% of the valve is four complete turns at a quarter inch by one sixteenth of an plus or minus with sixteenths of an inch. Fifty percent of the valve is six complete turns with three eighths of an inch to one sixteenth plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch. Forty percent of the valve is in eight complete turns at one or one half an inch or plus one and sixteenth of an inch. Um five twelve eleven three three lock lock the adjusting screw in place with one lock nut below one lock nut above the sensor arm. Be careful not to change the setting of the adjusting screw while sur while securing the lock nuts. Five twelve eleven three four to check the setting with the freight car single car te car test device is connected to the car charge the BP the ninety psi and so the one inch block under the sensor arm adjusting the screw. Note that an additional clearance had been added with the spring settlement during the empty car setup. See additional note twelve five twelve eleven three. Um, the, for the clearance must be added with the load car black, i.e., and if an additional, an additional one quarter inch was adopted, added to the empty car setting with the spring settlement with the one quarter inch must be added to the, to the one inch load of car adjustment or incorrect setting must be obtained. Um, when the flow, flow rate of the ball drops below the tube, on top of the tube, making 20 30 psi brake pipe reduction from the empty load indicative that not extended with the recharge of the BP and move of the block. When the flow rate of the ball drops below the top of the tube, making another 20 30 psi brake pipe reduction, note the indicator is extended and indicating the system, providing empty car braking, and the indicator is not extended to repeat the setup process of 512 1131. 
through 5, 12, 11, 3, 4. They pro ne then proceed to 5, 11, 12, 12. All right, for cars built on September 1st, 2004 that do not meet the requirements of the Association of American Railroad Specification S4203, know that the car must be empty positioned on a straight level track in order to properly um, set the E-L60 empty load valve. New, one new car is on the, on the, with a new truck springs placed one quarter inch to plus or minus the 64th of an inch block on the top of the side of the frame under the load sensor contact button. So continue the following setting up the instruction. 5, 12, 11, 4, 1, stencil block operation. You got your spring pack, your spring rate, stencil block, and stencil block loaded. Um, D3 through D7, and uh, your spring rate, stencil block, and stencil loaded. 5, 11, 5, 12, 11, 4, 2, place the appropriate stencil block with the previous table, the 5, 11, 10, 4, 1, and the stencil on the car between the adjacent screw contacting ball on the side of the frame. 12, 11, 4, 3, loosen the two nine six with the inch, inch lock nuts, adjusting the screw until the contact ball touches the stencil block with the sensor arm and manually pull down through the its full, its full travel. 5, 12, 11, 4, 4, when the freight single of the car is tested, connected to the car charged with the BP to 90 PSI, when the flow rate of the draft to the top of the the tube, move the device handle to position 5 to make 20 to 30 PSI break by production, and slowly device the handle to position 3. 5, 12, 11, 4, 5, adjust the screws to make the comprise of contact with the sensor block, no slack with, in, the, in the arm assembly. Le locking the adjusting screw in the place with one lock nut below and one lock nut above the sensor arm. Be careful to ch and not change the setting of the adjusting screw while securing the lock nuts. Note that the empty load indicator is indicated by the indication of the system is provided by the empty car braking. If the indicator is not intended to repeat the setup process, 5, 12, 11, 4, 1 through 5, 12, 11, 4, 5. All right. 5, 12, 11, 4, 6. To check the setting, make the device handle position 1 of the recharge the BP and the 90 PSI. Brake pipe through to the 90 PSI. Remove the empty stencil block from the side of the car. Install the 1 quarter of inch to 1 38th of inch, oh, 3 eighths of inch. Load block from this table to 5, 12, 11, 4, 1 under the sensor arm and adjusting screw. And no additional clearance um, has been added with the spring settling during the empty car setup. See no load have 11, 11, 4. But clearance must be added with the, to the load car block if and any additional one quarter inch was adopted, added to the empty car setting with the spring settlement. This one quarter inch must be added to the one and one quarter inch, one three eighth of an inch load adjustment as an incorrect setting by being attained. <laughs> When the flow rate of the ball drops below the top of the tube at the making of 20 psi, 20 to 30 psi brake pipe reduction, note that the empty load indicates that and extend and proceed to the next step of the 5, 11, 12. 5, 12, 12. Le um, leakage. Make sure that there is no leak leakage in the vent, drainers, indicator assembly, or the equalizing volume pump piping. Leakage either indicator of the equalizing volume piping can only be detected locally and can only be observed with a single car test device. 5.12.3, testing after all the repairs have been completed, the empty load must be tested per Rule 3 of the Association of American Railroads. 5.12.4, for reconditioning of the ELA, EL60 empty load valve, refer to the New York Air Brake Repair Procedures NY, NYR303, copy of the bid team of the field office. The ELRP sensor valve figure 36 is the result of the air braking test of the sensor portion of the defective of the valve except that they are used to place the sensor portion. 512.31. Drain the air out of the auxiliary reserve, emergency reserve, and brake cylinder. 512.3. Scrape and wipe and blow all dirt and adjacent dirt out of the gasket between the pipe bracket and the sensor portion. Use the air hose. Blow off all the loose dirt without the sensor portion. Pipe of the bracket, the truck frame, the car under frame, etc. Lows. Otherwise, we get into the, into the sensor portion of the bracket portion. Bracket and um, when the portion is play, being removed, they're clean portion applied. 51233, remove the sensor portion, apply the protective port covering the shipping. 51134, a sensor of the portion must be carefully handled to avoid entrance of dirt and water damage in internal parts. 535, when sensor portion is removed, the conditions are found with the portion of the pipe bracket of the evidence of the car. Brake equipment has been submerged in water. Special edition cleaning operations are not regularly performed will be required in direction with 7.0, 5136. Pipe bracket um, filter screens must be replaced with new ones. 5.13.7, the protective point, point, port coverings must be removed with the cleaning or sensor portion until the prepared immediately mounted with the portion of the pipe bracket. 5.13.8, the sensor portion of the bracket can properly be replaced with the on the portion fully seated immediately on the portion side of the sliding slowly. Uh, 
too carefully on the studs against the pipe of the bracket, tightening the mounting notes evenly with 20 to plus or minus 2 feet of the pounds of dry torque, 20 through 513.9. The flange connection on the mounting bracket must need to be removed. The ring gasket needs to be replaced with 3 eighths of inch grade 5 bolts, tightened to 8 plus or minus 2 feet of torque, dry, dry torque. Figure 36 shows the ELR sensory portion with a sensor arm and a contact ball. 51310 inspection before proceeding adjustment of the ELRP ELRP equipment the following examination should be performed. 51310 sure the sensor arm is not damaged or bent move the arm down manually conform the appropriate action on the side of the frame check the excessive side play beyond the effective side frame the inspect the integrity of the two sensor arm security bolts. 53 inspect the adjusting screw of the damaged excessive wear on the contact ball and the both lock nuts are present present 5 13 4 inspect the sensor boot damage in 13 10 confirm the portion and secure of the 24 plus or minus 2 feet of pound of torque adjustment 5 13 l or 5 13 11 5 13 11 in order to perform adjustment of the very single card test device must be connected with the car for approved finger rate car freight signal card device is appropriate method of connection but refer to the refer to refer to the AR standard S486 last issue. Um, 513.11.2, the tools required in 9 sixteenths of an inch or 3 eighths of an inch open ended wrenches. Um, the car must be empty, positioned on a straight level of track, and in order to properly set the ALRP to the sensor level. Note one new car is on the car with one new car is on the new truck with placing with one quarter inch, one sixty fourth of an inch plus or minus. Bomb black on the top of the side frame under the load to sensory and contact button. Continue with the following settings of instruction. Five thirteen eleven three with the brakes to release of the portion of the lock nuts with screwing the sensor valve adjusting screw. See the adjusting screw as far as it will go. Five thirteen eleven four position the sensor arm down as as far as it will go and hold in position, screw the sensor valve and the adjusting screw until the adjust touch of the truck side frame. Gently return the sensor valve to the release portion, screwing the adjusting screw out of the required complete with the turn of the valve, following the turnable in the order to remove the slack in the sensor arm. 60% of the valve is four complete turns or a quarter inch by plus or minus sixteenth of an inch. Five the percent of the valve the eight six complete turns plus or minus uh, or three eighths of an inch plus or minus sixteenth of an inch. Forty percent of the valve eight complete turns or one half an inch plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch. 513.11.5. Lock adjusting screw in the place with one lock nut below and one lock nut above the sensor valve arm. Be careful not to change the setting of the adjusting screw while securing the lock nuts. 513.11.6. Should check the setting. The single freight single card test device to, um, connected to the car. The change of the brake pressure of the 90 psi installed the one, a one inch block under the sensor arm adjusting the screw. No, an additional way has been cleared with the spring settlement during the empty car setup with the seat of note 513.11.2. The clearance must be added with the loaded car block. If an additional one quarter inch was added to the empty car setting for the spring settlement, then this one quarter inch must be added to the one inch of the load of the car. The adjustment and correct setting must be obtained. When flow aider ball drops below the, below the top of the tube, beginning the 20-30 psi reduction, note that the empty load indicator or the ELRP um, purpo load proportional valve is not extended. The recharge the brake pressure remove the block. When the flow rate ball drops below the top of the tube, making another 20-30 psi brake pipe reduction, note that the indicator of the ELRP load proportional is extended, indicated to the system provided with the empty car breaking the indicator of the ELRP load proportional valve is not extended. To repeat the setup of the process of the 513.11.3 through 5. 51311 6. Then proceed to step 51311 7. 51311 7. Move the device handle to position 1 and recharge the equipment. 51312. Testing. All the repairs have been completed. The service portion must be tested per Rule 3 of the AR field. Manual 5133 for reconditioning the ELRP sensory valve. Refer to the New York Air Brake Air Procedures NYR 441. Sorry, 44-1 complies with the obtained field office. 514, the ELRP load proportional valve in the figure 37. If the result of the air brake during the test confirmed that the proportional valve is defective, the following steps are used to replace the proportional valve portion. 1541, drain the air out of the auxiliary reserve, emergency reserve, and brake cylinder. 542, scrape and wipe and blow off the dirt adjacent with the gasket between the pipe and the bracket of the proportional valve portion. Use the air hose, blow off all the loose dirt of the proportional valve portion, pipe bracket, truck frame, car under frame, and these otherwise get into the proportional valve portion bracket with the portion is being removed and cleaned. Portion applied. 
Five four thirteen. Pro remove the proportional valve with the portion. Apply with the protective covering of the shipping. Five fourteen four. The proportional valve portion must be carefully handled to avoid entrance of certain water and damage internal parts. Five fourteen five. The proportional valve is removed with the condition of the pan with the portion of the pipe break. Evidence for the car break has been submerged in water. Special additions for cleaning operation not regarded, uh, not regularly performed will be required in direction seven point zero. Five four six. The pipe bracket gasket and the filter screens must be cleaned with new ones. Five four seventeen. So, uh, sorry. Five fourteen seven. The protective coverings must not be removed with the cleaning proportional valve of the portions until the prepared immediately mounting of the portion of the brake pipe. Five fourteen eight. With uh, the proportional valve portion gasket in the place of the portion fully seated with immediately with the mount of the portion sliding the slowly and carefully into the studs against the pipe bracket tightening tightening the mounting nuts evenly with twenty four plus or minus two feet of pound dry torque. Um, 5.14.9, if the flange connection of the mounting bracket needs to be removed, the rings of the bead needs to be replaced with 38 of an inch grade of the 5 tightened by the eight, 18 plus or minus 2 feet of the pound of torque, dry torque with 1 half inch grade, 5 bolts tightened 40 feet plus or minus 5 feet of the dry, pounds of dry f f torque. Five fourteen. inspect the ind indicator lens to ensure that it is not damaged. Five fourteen eleven. Testing. All repairs have been completed. The load proportional valve must be tested per Rule 3 of the AR field manual. 51412 for the reconditioning of the ELRP per load proportional valve. Refer to the New York Air Prepare, New York um, Repair, Air, New York Air Prepare. Repair. Procedure NYR 442. Copies must be obtained through any of the field offices. Alright, this shows a ELRP um, proportional valve portion with the indicator and the BC quick disconnecting test point. Alright, 515s. Um, the S1 load sensor revalve figure 38. If the result of the brake passing confirmed with the sensor valve of the portion of the defect of the following setup, they're used to replace the sensor valve portion. 5.15.1, um, the drain of the air out auxiliary reserve and emergency reserve in the brake cylinder. 5.15.2, scrape the wipe blow off the dirt adjacent with the gasket between the pipe bracket sensor valve of the portion. Use the air brake air hose to blow off all the hose, the dirt and sensor valve of the portion, pipe bracket, truck frames, car under frame there. Otherwise, get into the sensor valve of the portion, break it when the portion is being removed, the cleaned of the portion applied. 515.3, remove the sensor valve of the portion, apply the protective port of the covering for shipment. 515.4, with the sensor valve of the portion, must be carefully handled and avoid dirt and water and damage internal parts. 515.5, when the sensor valve is removed, the condition are found with the portion of the pipe bracket when the car brake has been submerged in water. Special additional cleaning operations not regularly formed or will be required as direction 7.0. 515.6. The pipe bracket with the filter screens must be replaced with new ones. 515.7. The protective coverings must not be removed with the cleaning and sensor valve portion until prepared immediately mounted on the portion of the pipe bracket. 515.8. Um, when the sensor valve with the portion and player hop of the blade with the portion fully steep with immediately mount of the portion, sliding and slowly carefully on the studs against with the pipe bracket with the tightening the mountain, mounting nuts evenly with 35 plus or minus 5 feet of pound of dry torque. 515.9, this flange condition of the mounting bracket needs to be removed with the ring set bracket and be replaced with 3 eighths of an inch grade 5 bolts from the 8 and a half inches of the dry torque. Alright, your contact ball pipe plug and your sensor arm are the S1 sensor valve. All right, 510, 515.10, inspection before proceeding with the adjustment of the S1 equipment of the following examination should be performed. Ensure that the sensor arm is not damaged or bent. And move the arm down manually and um, confirm the appropriate location of the side of the frame of the check for the excessive side play beyond the effective side frame. Expect the integrity of the two sensor arm security bolt. Inspect the adjusting screw with the damage of the excessive wear with the contact ball with the bolt lock notes are present. Inspect the sensor boot for damage. Confirm the portion is secure with 35 plus or minus 5 foot of pound of torque. The adjustment, 515.11. In order to perform an adjustment with the Pringle Freight Single Car to Test Device, must be connected to the car for approved Pringle Freight Single Car to Test Device appropriated method connection to the car. They refer to the AAR standard S486 of the last issue, latest issue. 515.11.2 tools required a 916th and 3/8 of an inch open end wrench. Move the pipe and pipe plug of the screw of the contact ball outward the extreme distance. Place the adjusting block and the contact plate directly below the contact ball. Adjusting the block thickness equally to one hat one fifth of the spring deflection between the light and lo light and loaded car. If the empty load of the spring deflection is not known, the 716th of an inch block have tolerance of the minus 132th of an inch should be utilized. With the brake system charted 90%, 90 psi, move the device handle to position 5, reduce the brake pipe pressure to 20 psi, then slowly re return the handle to position 3, adjusting the contact ball until the light blow of air is obtained with the air pl at the pl pipe plug hole. Locate the contact ball in place. 
I'm fifteen eleven six. Apply Loctite number fifty nine. Um, five ninety two pipe sealant for the pipe with the plug with the tighten the end of the body. Then remove the adjusting block. Coat the pipe po plug with the soap studs to detect light leakage. No leakage is permitted. Five fifteen eleven seven. Most devices handle position one and recharge equipment. Five five fifteen twelve. Testing. All the repairs have been completed. With the sensor valve must be turned. That's the perfect rule for three of the Association of American Railroad Field Manual. Five fifteen thirteen. Reconditioning the S one sen load sensor valve for the New York air brake repair procedure. And Y four fifty nine. Um, copies must be obtained through any field office. All right, uh, figure 516, the P1 load proportional valve, figure 39, if the result of the air brake confirmed with the proportional valve is defective, the following set are used to replace the proportional valve portion. 516, one, drain the air out of the auxiliary reserve of the emergency reserve of the brake cylinder, scrape and wipe and blow off all of the adjacent gasket with the pipe rack of the proportional valve of the portion, use the air hose, blow off all the dirt, loose dirt with the proportional valve portion, and brake pipe of the truck frame, car under frame, etc. The otherwise get in the proportional valve of the bracket, portion or the bracket when the portion is being removed or cleaned with the portion applied. Remove the portional valve with the portion applied the protective gut port covering with the shipping. The proportional valve portion may be carefully handed to avoid entrance of dirt and water to damage internal parts. 5165. When the proportional valve is removed, the conditions are fine with the proportion of the pipe break of the evidence with the car brake equipment which has been submerged in water. A special edition clearing operation not regularly performed was required as directed. 5166. Pipe bracket gil gasket filter screens must be replaced with new ones. 5167. The protective porter coverings must not be removed with the clean proportional valve with the portion of the until my prepared and immediately mounted with the portion of the of the pipe bracket. Five sixteen eight the proper proportional valve with the portion gasket lead in place with the portion fully seated with immediately mounted the portion slightly so Lighting slowly and carefully on the stud of the gins of the pipe of the bracket with the tightening the mounting nuts evenly with thirty five plus or minus five foot drive torque. Inspect the indicator of the lens, lens is to ensure that it is not damaged and flange connection with the mounting of the brake needs to be removed. The ring of the gasket needs to be replaced with 3 eighths of inch grade with a 5 bolt tight with the 8 plus or minus 5 feet of, feet of pounds of torque, dry torque and 1 half inch grade of 5 bolt tight with the 40 plus or minus 5 feet of pounds of dry torque. 5, 16, 11, testing all repairs of a completed proportional valve must be tested per rule 3 of the Association of American Railroad Field, um, field Manual. 5, 16, 12, with the recondition of the P1 load proportional valve for the New York air brake or procedure NYR 460 copies must be attained by any of the field offices this shows your uh, this is your low proportional valve with the indicator all right um 6.0 rubber parts and shelf life storage 6.1 new rubber parts such as gasket o-rings rubber seated check valve seat the seals and diaphragms, etc., must not be applied if over five years old. To determine the shelf life of the new rubber repair kits, must be dated with the oldest date of the rubber components contained within the kit. 6.3. The storage area of the rubber parts should be cool, dark, free of the dampness, mildew. Since most of the rubber products can be affected by the, by the ozone, they must be stored near electrical equipment and must not be stored near electrical equipment that may generate ozone. 7.0. Um, procedure for cleaning standard of the freight, break, freight brakes that have been submerged. Remove all the as associated piping with the control valve of the pipe bracket. Um, auxiliary air device of the pipe brackets. Reserve brakes on the retaining valve to remove the pipe brackets and the reserve from the car. Remove the clean and emergency auxiliary reserve pipe strainers. Remove the strainer nut and the strainer from the pipe bracket. On the single si one single side of the pipe bracket, always remove the choke for the service portion. See figure 43. Loosen air any of the foreign military um, matter of the pipe of the bracket passes. Use the Suitability strap, scrapers, and bowl of the both equivalent protective enclosure. Blow out all the passage expressed with the air, at least to the 110 psi with the protective enclosure. Wash the psi with a high pressure using water, using a small nozzle with it, which will enter the ports and then dry and then dry all the ports. Passage thoroughly, blowing all of the air through them with the pipe and the bracket placed in various positions. The quick action chamber port must be thoroughly um, blown with air pressure to be inside to remove all the water or dirt and from the quicking, quick action chamber valve with the volume in the bracket. Clean all the reserve volumes by washing out the high pressure water with with high uh, washing out with high pressure water using a sub suitable nozzle that allows the water to drain out until the dry. Install new strainer and strainer nut in one side of the side brackets and also reinstall the choke in the servicing portion face. Clean inside all the pipes by first hammering, then washing, blowing them out with air pressure. 
Seven nine. Apply the pipe right and pipe bracket the reserve car with the replace the auxiliary emergency reserve pipe. Sure, pi reserve pipe strainers at the pipe bracket. Replace the ring ring gaskets with the flange connection cap. Hold the cap with the screws with the great reach of the Association of American Railroad spec M one nine four nine one four. Reconnect all the pipes. Torque the flange pipe connection cap screws of the of the following chart. Torque values for grade five bolts and found and put um, on aluminum bracket three um, uh, three eighths of inch eight and eighteen plus or minus two forty plus or minus five a cast iron pipe bracket twenty two plus or minus four fifty five plus or minus a half inch fifty five minus a half auxiliary reserve um, the type of torque value is forty plus or minus five torque pipe bracket to the car frame mounting of the five eighths of inch grade five bolts to one hundred fifty plus or minus five pounds of dry torque seven ten after all the repairs have been completed, the entire brake equipment must be tested required in the current issue of the Association of American Railroad Standards S48486 Code of Air Brake System Test of the Freight Equipment. And shows uh, portion portion 40 is an uh, indication standard brake pipe bracket in emergency portion face. 1. The brake pipe. 2. The emergency reserve. 3. And 3A brake cylinder. And 4. The quick action for the quick action chamber. This shows the 41 pipe port identification standard pipe bracket service portion face. Brake pipe as in 1 and 1A. One 2 emergency reserve valve. 3 3A brake cylinder A um, and brake cylinder valve. And 5 auxiliary reserve. 10 retaining pipe. Retention pipe. Port identification for single sided pipe bracket portion face 1A brake pipe, the 2 the emergency reserve brake pipe for a cylinder, 4 the quick action chamber, 5 the auxiliary, and 10 the retaining pipe. Port, port identification single sided brake bracket pipe face 1 and 1A one and one A brake pipe, 2 the emergency reserve, 3 and 3A brake cylinder, 5 and auxiliary reserve, 10 retaining pipe. This has been a reading of the New York Air Brake um, Brake Pipe of a Repair Track Maintenance of the DB60 Type Freight Brake Equipment Instruction Pamphlet.